Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijou Table Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make really easy and fast these beautiful brick stitch elements and I provide a free pattern in the tutorial. Why are they so different? Because here I use Toho beads and here I use Mayuki Delica beads. So if you want to make a larger element, use Toho. If you want a smaller and finer one, use Mayuki Delica. I have shopping links with 10% discount code in description for these Toho beads if you want to check them out from the BB Craft store. And uh, what else I want to tell you is that down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following me, mainly on my Facebook page. You could see my second channel with the fast clips. You will find out what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Thank you for your constant support guys. See you for the list of the material. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of Toho beads and as I told you, you could definitely do this work with Mayuki Delica or Aiko Treasuries and now uh, the purpose of this video is to show the difference between two elements done with different brand of beads and here I'm using these chains. If you don't want to use chains, you could make earrings instead of bracelet or you could make a beaded chain and this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 into 0 0.15 millimeters this is a free pattern that i provide and the gray color i replaced with blue and with red when i was working with different beads this is size 10 beading needle you could use 11 or 12 if, if it's easier for you these are scissors and these are pliers that I use to attach my chains to my work. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and what I'm using here in this video is this pattern that you will also he see here at the eye icon. And uh, if you want to know how to make your own beading pattern, here is a nice tutorial at the eye icon and I will put it down there in description as well. And now guys, I'm going to start following this pattern. This is a basic brick stitch. If you're not familiar with it, don't worry. I'm showing it really easy and step by step. Now the gray color I will replace with red. So I will start from this row. Here I have two beads and after that I will add this one. Okay, so I will start with two red beads because here the gray color I will replace with red. So I'm taking these two beads and I'm sliding those down. I'm leaving a small tail here because later I will put my needle on it and I will secure my work. Okay, so now as I'm taking these two beads, I'm going through the second one of them backwards in circle. And my goal is to position them like this next to each other with the holes pointing in this direction as you may see okay then I will go one more time here and one more time here because I like to reinforce okay now I have this. Now what I want to do guys is add these three beads here, the next three, uh, because um, it will be easier for me to add this first and then this one here. So how I add them. Okay guys, and as I'm here, I'm taking two beads and I'm going under the only thread bridge that I have here between my beads and it is important to hold tight my tail thread at this point okay I'm pulling now what I want to do is to go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work through the the second one and I pull 
and only this first row is a little bit tricky okay now I have this then I'm going to take one more seed bead and I'm going under the same thread bridge because here I have only one thread bridge and I pull and then I go back through this bead okay now I have this two of my rows are ready so what I want to do at this step is go back through those beads like this and here what I want to do is add this additional bead now you see I added this row and after that I added this row and now I want to add this bead and as I'm exiting through one of those two beads here at the top I'm going to take this one bead and I'm going under this thread bridge here like that then I'm going through this bead that I just added and then I go backwards through all of those beads like this and I'm exiting here in this row with the three beads that I added last now what I want to do I have this bead then these two and then these three and now it's time to add these four beads and I'm making here an increasing brick stitch here I have three beads in a row you might see three beads in a row with the holes pointing in this direction and what I want to do is take two beads and because I expand I will go through the first thread bridge I expand it means that I increase the number of beads in the next row here I have three beads and in the next row I will have four so I added these two here you see and I want to go through the one that is closer to the center of my work and in my next step I want to add two more red beads okay I have one thread bridge here and I go under it then of course I go through this bead here like this and then I don't have more thread bridges but I will add the fourth bead at the same thread bridge that I already been through with my previous bead okay like that and then backwards through this bead okay so what do we have now we have here one two three four rows of my pattern and as I added these four rows I need to add the next row which is longer as you may see and here I will add this bit and this bit and then I'll tell you how I continue so this one and this one and they will be red okay I take two beads and I go under this first thread bridge because here I'm expanding okay or increasing the beads that I have in my next row okay then I go through the one that is closer to the center okay 
Then what I want to do is go one more time through this bit. Like this. So now I have this bit and this bit. And then I'm going to add the next four beads in this direction. How I do this, I take one and I go back through this one here at the edge, like this. Then I go through this one here. Then I take one more and go back. And the same way add two more beads. Okay, now I have four beads added to my work. And what I want to do is go through all of them like this, reinforcing them and making them stay in a nicer shape. So they will be a good base to continue the brick stitch. Okay. And I'm exiting again through these beads that I've been through. Okay. Now, at all of the thread bridges, I will add one seed bead. And here at the last one, I'm going to add two beads. Okay. Now I have this expanding row with five beads. Four are sticking from here and four will be sticking from this side, okay? I'm going to show you how I attach the first one. Then I will make three more and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I attached those four beads, but you see how they don't stay very nice i don't like the look of them that is why i want to reinforce those beads i will go through all of them like this okay then i will go back in the same direction Because this is where I'm going to start the next row from, okay? So now I have this row here. And from here on, I will be decreasing and following my pattern. Okay, so the next row will consist of four red, one white, two red, one white, and four red beads. And it is a decreasing row because it goes to the inner side and it is with one bead less than this row here. So I'm going to take two red beads to start it as I'm exiting here. I always start with two beads and because I decrease I go under the second thread bridge here. If I was increasing I would go through the first one. Okay, I decrease. It is almost the same when I decrease and increase. The only difference is going through the second instead of first thread bridge. Okay. Then I go through the one that's closer to the center. But I don't like the look of those beads. They are stretching because they are going through the second thread bridge. And they need to be reinforced. This is not the case when you make increasing brick stitch because they are not stretching 
they are through the first thread bridge so you don't need to make this move okay so it is decreasing you see then i'm going to add two more red beads then according to my pattern guys here i have a white two reds and a white and i'm going to add them And now according to my pattern here I have four more red beads. I'm going to add them off camera and I'll be back. Okay and here is the last red bead that I'm adding from this row. And the next row guys will be pretty much the same because I'm again decreasing and this is this row. Four reds, one white one red one white and four reds okay i will show you the first two beads two reds because i always start with two and when i decrease i go under the second thread bridge like this and then through the one that is closer to the center of my work and then you know because I decrease I will make an additional step of reinforcement of my beads. It's not wrong to make it when you increase but if you forget it when you decrease it will be a problem. Okay so then what I need to add is according to my pattern and it is really easy because one by one I'm going to add this bead then this 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 and all of those okay you can pause here on this pattern and make this row I will make it off camera and I'll be back okay now guys I have this row ready and i will make two more decreasing rows that i'm gonna be showing you one by one this is the first one i'll do this and i'll be back okay here i have it pause and do this four reds two whites four reds okay i'll do the next one which is one red seven whites one red okay and i decrease and i start with a red and a white I go under the second thread bridge, I go here, I reinforce, I add six more white beads and one red. Okay, I'll do this and I'll be back. Okay, and I have this, okay, this central row. And from here on, guys, I will start increasing. And I will start with four red beads, two whites and four red beads and how I do this I take two reds and because I increase I go in the first thread bridge here not in the second like I did before but in the first one and then through the one that is closer to the center okay and then what I need to take are two more red beads two whites and two reds I will finish this row and I'll be back okay and I'm here at the end of this row and here you guys I'm out of thread bridges that is why I wanted to tell you that I'm adding my last bead at the last thread bridge okay if you haven't done this row pause on it and do this and 
I will now I won't be showing you showing you the technique because you already know it but I'm gonna be showing you my progress after all the rows um, you could either pause on this frame and do your work until the end or I will be back when I'm up to here in fact or you could pause on my progress and do the rows one by one okay so now my next row is this one then this one then this one and I'm gonna be making them and showing you them one by one and I'm ready with this row and I will start the next one and I'm ready with this row pause and do this the next one is only with red beads and it it is expanding it will be easy okay guys and now I'm ready with this long row pause and do this if you still haven't and now I want to take my pattern and I want to make this last beam here and what I do is that I want to exit out of the fifth beat one two three four five I want to exit out of the fifth beat and in this direction okay so I want to reposition my thread now okay and now I'm exiting out of the fifth beat counting from the edge and in this direction and what I want to do next is add four beads with decreasing brick stitch and how I do this take two reds and I go not under the first thread bridge of where my thread is exiting out of but I'm going not here but I'm going here under the second thread bridge because I decreased Okay. then I go through the one that is closer to the center and because I decrease I also reinforce and I'm going to add one by one two more of those beautiful red beads okay then my next row will be with three beads and i also decrease that is why from here i'm going under the second thread bridge and i'm also reinforcing And I add one more then I need to take two and I'm decreasing that is why I'm going not here through the first thread bridge but through the second one and I reinforce because I decrease compared to the previous row and here at the top i'm adding just one bead in the same manner going under the only thread bridge then going through it and then going like this now guys you could turn this into an earring if you want but i want to make it a center of a bracelet that is why what i want to do is go in this direction through as many beads as i can and if you can exit directly here if not make it in several moves okay now i'm going to take three white beads and I'm going in the same place where I'm exiting 
making here a loop where I will attach my jump ring and my chain on or from here on you could start a beaded chain if you want there are a lot of tutorials for beaded chains just write it and find them okay I'm reinforcing then I want to repeat the same thing here okay and I repeated this here and here what I want to do is zigzag through my beads and at some point cut your thread you don't need to uh, make a knot here you could just cut your thread after zigzagging a lot and now guys what i want to do is put my needle here at this tail thread zigzag and cut it as well okay guys and after i did this it's time to attach my chains okay i open this jump ring I put it here and I squeeze back in the same direction as I opened it. Okay, I have one part of my chain ready and I will put the other one. And now my Christmas star bracelet is ready. So what we learned here from this tutorial is that if you want to make a smaller and finer element, you could use the Mayuki Delica. And if you want a larger one, you could use Toho beads. Don't forget about the shopping link in description. You could also check description for full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following me. You could also see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment and that watch my videos. You are a bless to me. Bye bye.